Hey everybody, I'm Renzo, and just a warning, this upcoming video series that you're watching now is going to be a little abnormal. This will be the cut down battles from the Kill the Ragnarok tournament VOD, which I'm just going to edit into a bunch of little more bite-sized pieces in six hours, and I'm going to post these all to YouTube. So, strap in, prepare, this is going to come out over the span of the week, and it's going to be a good one. And this is one of the few times I want to do this, and I hate to do this. I am getting pretty close to 1,000 subscribers. We're at about 7.30 right now. If you are not subscribed, please, I beg of you, hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. There's plenty of content coming up soon. And if we get to 1,000 subs, I have a pretty nice surprise planned for you guys, and I think you'll love it. So... If you don't mind, you could just hit the big fancy red button. Please do it. Subscribe. There's going to be so much more content to come. And let's get down to the tournament. And just some explanation of the rules before we start. The basic premise is you have a 10 minutes to kill the Ragnarok. If you don't kill within 10 minutes, you get DQ'd. Each round is one fight. And after the fight, you get points based on how you did. If you kill the Ragnarok within 10 minutes, you get receive 100 points. You then receive a 100 points subtracted by the amount of time that you used to kill the Ragnarok. So if you take 5 minutes to kill the Ragnarok, you get 50 points. If you take 7 minutes to kill the Ragnarok, you get 30 points. So on so on, you get the gist. You also receive points for your remaining health percentage. So if you kill the Ragnarok with 90% health remaining, you get 90 points. If you kill it with 65% health remaining, you get 65 points. So on, so on. These points are totaled, and these points are used to just indicate who's in what place for round one. For round two, which is run the same as round one largely, except only the people who survived round one to make it to round two. Within round two, the two highest ships by points will advance to round three where they will fight a best of three, 1v1, to claim the title. Any other rules are probably explained along the way. For example, broadsiders spawn at 45, frontsiders spawn at zero, aircraft spawn in the air at whatever altitude is really best for them. I defined an altitude originally, but I decided whatever the creator wants is what they get. Ships spawn at zero. Submarines are not allowed. Spacecraft are not allowed. There's no exploiting allowed of any kind. I define that in the rule set. And there's no sub objects, no nothing like that. And besides that, the rules are pretty minimal. So let's get into it. Okay, there's the Ragnarok. Where is its opponent? Come on, man. Okay. She spawned out of the water. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know. Did that happen to the Ragnarok? Huh. You may have uh, defined your, your height a little wonky, but it'll fall. It will fall. Remember 2000 was the range? That sounds right. I'm going to believe y'all because I trust you better than I trust myself. Are frontsiders spawn at zero? Yes. Yes. Frontsiders are spawned at zero. Aircraft are spawned at, I think, six or eight hundred. Maybe 600 is what I said. They're spawned at a good height. They're spawned at a good height. So this is Flappy's ship. Your superstructure is die fastly. I'm pretty sure these are the same guns that he waxed me with previously, and there's now four of them. Um, yeah. Flappy, if you have anything to say, just commentate, because like, I, I can't evaluate your ship mid-fight. Uh, mid Let's see, are these rail guns? No, these are crams. These are not the things you annihilated me with. These are crams, my guy. Okay. Spicy. Spicy. Pretty sure this thing's main armaments is just crams. Let's take a look. Some missiles, mostly crams. Some minor APS. Dual azipods, me likey. Or azipod sections. Lots of up props. Lots of up props. All right, folks. Round one begins now. Prepare yourselves. Let her rip. This is going to be laggy. Your guns are not firing. Why are your guns not firing? 
Okay, now your guns are firing. I believe you may have had a massive delay on them. Wow, this is a laggy thing to behold. Alright, the first crams are off. Let's see, will they hit? Uh, two! No, one hit, one hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. What the hell? Alright, well, goodbye, superstructure. You're, you're, uh... The name of your ship was not inaccurate. Your superstructure is die fastly. My superstructure no longer exists and I'm missing a barrel on two of my guns. That's pretty poggers. She is running away. She is hoofing it out of here as fast as possible. I, I, I set the AI up as you asked and she is still hoofing it. She's gone. No concern. <laughs> okay. She is out of here. Does not want to be part of this fight. She switches sides. Okay. That is some shit. Good to know that uh, people decided to just switch sides on me. Okay, second round of crams. Let's see if my superstructure has any chance. My Sea Wiz is very late when getting to this. Okay, some of them. Ooh, ouch, that was four. Let's see, anything important in there? Uh, it looks like backup engines are getting killed. But I don't see much critical damage. It just looks like a lot of backup things are dead. Let's see. Ooh, goodbye, superstructure. We are exposing our lamb, so this is an issue. We will eventually be losing our ability to defend ourselves against the crams. Just because the deck armor is not very well armored on the Ragnarok. This is kind of on purpose, just because it was cheap and I was running out of materials. So, as previously discussed, the deck armor is a weakness. Looks like we deflected a cram. Pretty nice. Let's see what's happening over here. This thing is getting crams out at a pretty good pace. It's quite interesting. Yeah, your belt armor is die fastly, but luckily you switch sides, so it doesn't matter. This is a slow burn fight. No one's immediately dead yet. McWalrus has long been compromised. McWalrus was compromised the second it was allowed to exist. The FDA does not approve of McWalrus. Oh, this looks deadly. Oh, there's some missing gun parts. They still look active, however, so that is good for me. Oh, we are down. Oh, no, we're not down a gun. We're just off target. Oh, we're in a we're in a fucked range. We are too close. We are going to get waxed at this distance. Let's see. I have not taken out anything on this. The side switching was a very smart choice. You prevented yourself from insta-dying. I don't know why the Ragnarok is this damn close. That is a terrible, terrible choice on its part. Because now it's kind of screwed. Ha, huh, McWallers disapproves of the FDA. <laughs> yeah, at this distance, I these crams are simply just going to unload and just annihilate just annihilate the ragnarok this ship really wants to fight at like 2500 meters and for some reason we're at like 300 meters so this seems to be a loss on the <laughs> on the part of the ragnarok's ai and a win on the power of cram cannons Are you AI dead? If you were AI dead, you would already have lost. You would be despawning. You could be partial AI dead, but it appears not. Your guns are aiming, just they weren't for some reason. A Ragnarok might sink. I believe most of its offensive capabilities are gone. Are you gonna ram me? 
You might break the rules here. Oh, barely didn't break the rules. Barely didn't break the rules. Got this close. This close to being a, a restart. Oh yes, this, this seems to be a pretty defined win for the superstructure is die fastly by flap. An easy advance. Yeah, this is some real spaghetti code. The Ragnarok should never, ever, ever get close to anybody. Default AI is really bad, and I really... I think my next ships, I'm honestly going to breadboard it. I think I need to. Just because I, I can't have this crap happening. If I'm making a hydrofoil, like, my whole reason of making a hydrofoil is to dodge crams. So I can't let my ship get this close to a cram boat ever. So I believe I will be learning how to do some breadboard AI trickery in the near future. Yeah, we, we are a little scuffed here. Most of our defenses are down. Uh, most of our offensive capabilities are pretty neutered. And the superstructure is die fastly is perfectly fine. So, as soon as the Ragnarok starts despawning, I will pause the fight. Oop. Okay, I don't know if it's despawning or if it's just getting annihilated. I think it's just getting annihilated. I don't think it's despawning quite yet. Let's see. Nope, it is not despawning. As soon as it starts despawning, I will give you your score. Yeah. Really? I, I would just say, uh, this is my excuse before you watch my ship get annihilated like 10, 15 times. This ship really is hampered by the design presence that Rob has set out. So, like, I really do want to make something of my own that doesn't have the limitations that he set for me. But, yeah, I, I think we're, we're just waiting to despawn here. So this ship does well because its crams are really hard to kill and really powerful, but the Titan Slung does not have that level of cram firepower. I think the cram firepower on this is just way, way more because it costs like 400,000 more than the Titan Slung. So that is most likely why. And these are probably just better design crams. And this ship also is way smarter. I mean, it freaking switched sides on me. Is it because there's more of them? I don't know. That's probably something Flap would have to answer for himself. And also, uh, the Ragnarok got really close, stupidly, so that just kind of was a death sentence. As soon as you get close to a cram ship, it's kind of game over, so... It never got close to a Titan Slung, but this thing just kind of charged me. So, it was just... It was kind of said and done. Said and done. All right, Ragnarok, just despawn already, so I can give this man his points. I'll be using the points for round one to determine the brackets for round two. That is to say, who goes first, who has priority, and if anyone needs to get cut, who does or doesn't get cut. So just keep that in mind, everybody. Uh... So, I, I I do have sounds on. I haven't modified anyone's ships to turn their sounds off, because I think sounds are funny, Cruiser, so it should as long as I'm close. I just hope it doesn't blow my ears out. Let me pull up the rules so I can score this guy properly. I heard a Twitch thing. Thank you, Delta Oak, for following. You are very poggers, my man. Yeah, this is, a, uh, This is death. We just kind of got blown through completely and utterly. Kind of just no chance to ever survive this. We got close and we got ripped to shreds. Come on, start despawning already. Your ship is honestly kind of losing points here for, like, uh, not closing out the fight faster. 
I, I think I think we all need to learn breadboard AI because this thing is too far for its own good. And it's kind of just dragging the fight on, which is really bad for getting higher points. Oh, we're almost there. 0.5% more. Come on. Start despawning. This thing doesn't sink. I'm very proud of that. That this thing does not sink very well. Oh, God. Might be AI fuckery. Yeah, this is probably AI fuckery. Yes, Nova, if I do figure it out, I will, in fact, make a tutorial. Okay, we have broken 55 and I'm calling this fight over. The Ragnarok will despawn shortly. So, 5 minutes and 51 seconds and 89%. So, I'll just uh, I'll open my score sheet real quick. So, Flappy, you receive 100 points for killing a Ragnarok. You receive, um, what is it, 7? You receive, I think that's 40, no, 49 points. You have four minutes and nine seconds remaining, right? No. Hold on. Let me let me do this. Let me let me read what I wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me do some uh, mathematics real quick. Nine over sixty. It's point fifteen. So you receive uh, forty-one point five points on time. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. So 100 plus 89.1 plus 40 point or 41.5 is a total score of 230.6 out of 300. So two, 230.6 points out of 300 that I don't know if that's good or not yet. We shall see. But that is the very first ship to survive. As you can see, the side switching kind of saved this thing's ass because I was the other side, which is the first side we engaged, is getting punched through, and I actually stood a chance if he did not switch sides. But alas, he was very smart and he set that up correctly. So yeah, I hope this thing goes in numbers and we can go through what makes this thing good because uh, this is a very interesting ship, a big cram brawler that kind of counters me on purpose. One sec. I have to text people. Yeah, it's just a big cram boat, but there are some smart, clever things like the side switching that I would like to evaluate. But yep, 230.6 is our first contestant. Yes, Cruiser. I I, uh, I would like to make money off my YouTube channel, but I don't have enough subs. So it helps with the motivation to actually work on things for several hours every day. You want to see the inside of the boat? Well, we'll see the inside of the boat if it survives. If it survives to the next rounds, we'll see the inside of it. Okay, part two, please don't crash. Okay, we're off. Off to the races. Let me make sure my HUD is off. Okay, it's just big. Missile decos are so cool. You got freaking cruise missile looking thing here. Let's see, I was too late on seeing your crams to see if they hit properly, but I believe they did considering I lost a crap ton of health. Let's see if there's any damage. Uh, I don't, I see this here, but that isn't really all that bad. Oh, that is like the lambs being pierced, I believe. God, I need to turn smoke off. Yes, that is part of the lambs gone immediately. So your dice roll worked out correctly, at least on that part. Let's see, will this big stupid cruise missile make it? Yes, you have reinforced bodies, obviously. And my sea whiz didn't target it at all thank you flappy you did not have to do that my guy but thank you i appreciate that greatly 
Well, Flappy's the first sub, so he's instantly better than all of you. I I'm sorry, that's just how it goes. Okay, second crayon volley. He's he's already first in the tournament, and he's first to sub, so he's obviously just based. Yeah, the missile missed, I believe, is radar guided. Cruiser subscribed. Well, you're number two. You aren't that cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, you, you really don't need to do this. Ads are enough, but I do appreciate if you actually subscribe. Like, it is very nice of you. I'd prefer that you don't save your money. Let me make money off Twitch through ads. But if you do, you are very base, and thank you. I, I do not deserve your money, but I will gladly accept it. Let's see what's happening over here in Cramland. Oh, it actually gives you a badge for being first. That is actually Omega based. So you don't have Era, and I do tend to do this. So I am shredding your belt armor, but that isn't really where your crams are, it seems. Your crams are not here. So that was useless. Oh god, lag. Don't have money for Twitch? Good. Save your own money, brother. Don't don't simp for people on Twitch. Unless it's me, in which case it's slightly different. No, I'm joking. I try not to sub to people on Twitch, just because, like, I'd rather give them ad money, and, like, if I really want to give somebody money, I'm going to donate to them, because I'm pretty sure Twitch takes half of subs, and I don't know how they deal with donations. So, like, if somebody really needs it, I would just, like, donate to them directly. Dude, what is your... What is... Hold on. Your Sea Wiz is cracked out, son. This thing is tweaking. <laughs> just, just, just some more bullets, bro. Just, just, just another crack rock of bullets, bro. Just, just a little more crack, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh god. Let's see. All, all I've really done to you is open up your belt. We're kind of even in damage right now, and I think that's because my guns are landing, and yours are kind of rare. Yeah, variable because they're cramps. I've opened up one cram, but it's not that much. Yeah, it's a very it's a much more even fight than I expected. It's just not even on my PC because my PC is the loser here. You are honestly so this is kind of smart, is he's making me waste mats by hitting me with laser guides. Which is just making me burn through materials by smoking. Which is honestly kind of smart. If you think about it. Doing your part to make FDD cool, cruiser, you are a beast. Nova, if you must go. So be it. I appreciate you, my man. I look forward to you watching the VODs of this, because it's going to be a great time. And I'm sad to see you go, my man. Yeah, even fight. It, it seems like I'm taking down the missiles with SeaWiz, because you are spamming missiles at me. But I'm pretty sure my lambs is gone, which is kind of bad. So your crams will start landing more effectively. Let's see if I can find my lambs. Oh, yep. Doesn't look too good in lambs town. Okay, just let me... Yep, I, I have no no lambs left over. Ooh, I have no citadel left over. You snuck some in on me. Okay, that's pretty sad for the Ragnarok. You'll be back with the craft room. Sounds good. Galaxy, I meant uh, Hypernova. There are two of you with the same name, or same-ish name. So the fight looks even in percent, but uh, right now I could get AI deaded because I don't have lambs anymore. My citadel is wide the hell open. So this is kind of dangerous. I'm also probably losing engine power, so my railguns are probably not firing too effectively right now. Let's see what's happening in big cram boat land. Scary ass crams. I agree. These are some scary crams when they hit. Once they hit. God, English. Like, that is, that is deadly. I want to see this volley. I know I can track projectiles, but I want to free cam this because it's cooler. I should learn crams, but I think my next chip will be a mix of APS and PAX. Those, <laughs> those sailed right over. I think PAX are pretty cool, and I want to learn them more as my next weapon system. Yeah, driver, if you hit my, my actual citadel, then it's kind of game over. And yeah, if you Lua guide your torpedoes and make them reverse javelin so they do this, you're going to kill the Ragnarok so easily. I kind of hope someone did that in the tournament. Okay, I'm making you list, which is nice, but I don't think I've hit anything significant yet. Yeah, I don't know why it's not trying to close. That is a great question. I'm trying to see where my guns are aiming. They're aiming here. Is there anything significant here? Just cramps? Yeah. 
two crams. Two crams and a bunch of dudes. Maybe check firepower. Oh, you still have full firepower. Or good enough firepower. God, these things are far away, dude. The Ragnarok is supposed... Supposed to fight at 1500. But it doesn't listen, because AI in this game is really bad. So, like I said, I will be breadboarding my next ship, because this is really annoying. And the Ragnarok is still at mostly full firepower. It's missing about 300. Most of the damage is kind of just in random spot. Ooh, this is this could be bad. If your torpedoes keep hitting, that could be deadly. As well as the lambs is off, which is really, really bad. Because it means I can't really deal with your missile spam or with your crams. Yeah, driver, I, I can't tell you why From the Depths does this, but it sure does. And it is really annoying that it does this all the time. I wish AI would just listen to the parameters I set, but unfortunately that is not an option. Ooh, big cram volley coming in, and we did not see it, so our Sea Wiz is not attacking it. Probably because there's a cruise missile out there somewhere. Sag, but alas, it happens. The Ragnarok is down 2% here. Seems to only happen with Broadsiders. Yeah, I think the Broadsider AI is pretty bad right now. I don't think torpedoes are that good oven. I think torpedoes are good against the Ragnarok, but uh, they're not that great in general. I think your engine power dead. You're not moving very fast. Torpedoes in general are kind of bad, all things considered. Um, and my next ship should not be able to get hit by torpedoes because it will be a skimmer slash hydrofoil. So if you're trying to come kill my stuff, then the next one will not be a good battle against torpedoes. Because you will not hit it. If it is on the water, it'll travel on the water at like freaking 120. And if it isn't on the water and it skims, then you will not be able to hit it with torps. Engine is exposed due to aesthetics. <laughs> that is genuinely funny. Let's see, where am I firing into you? I'm firing into here, which I hope is your citadel. I'm firing pretty low. I'm not really hitting anything. Uh, there's lamps here, but I'm not breaching it. Which is kind of sad. So, this fight is now... Can the Ragnarok dodge the crams long enough to like actually breach something important? But you're actually going to get... Um... In advantage, because the Ragnarok is going to circle around you and eventually go to your other side, which is bad for me. What are you shooting at, Seawiz? You shooting at missiles? Yes, you're shooting at missiles. Okay. Challenge accepted. My man, try to hit a fast as hell hydrofoil slash skimmer with torps. You, you will be wasting your mats. You are still chunking me out slowly but surely. There's a lot of fun fetty back here seems to mostly be armor though and one sea whiz goodbye sea whiz you are loved i think i'm running out of railgun charge if i had to guess here which is why i'm not really killing you and you're slowly but surely picking me down this fight honestly could go to time limit which would be a win for the ragnarok unfortunately It sucks if this goes to time limit because the game is playing at like, um, let's see. The game is playing at half speed right now, so it'll take us a while to get there. With a tactical view? Where? You're correct. The Ragnarok is basically out of energy, which is probably why it's not doing damage. Yeah, it's only at like 1200 energy. It's probably not making a lot of power right now because most of its engines got hit. And the, what's it called? The big cram boat. Doesn't really need energy, but it doesn't really have engine power, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I have any turbines left outputting power. And I'm not really outputting enough energy to, like, run my railguns fully. So this is kind of a stalemate, which sucks. Because <laughs> my railguns are dead, and... He's going to slowly pick me apart with crams, but, like, I don't know if he can do it fast enough to win the fight is the issue. The only gun I have that doesn't use rail is this one and this one. And this one's fully functional. And this one is 
somewhat functional? Fully functional, okay. One of the, one of the, some of the decos are gone, which is interesting. I think we're having ammo problems as well. Interesting. It's kind of a slow burn fight. Not much to say about it. His ship is not moving, mine's moving, but it's getting picked apart by cramps because it doesn't have defenses anymore. I don't think I've breached anything important on his ship. And we're about to actually switch sides, which is going to be an L for the Ragnarok. This it looks like some pretty beefy armor. We're really not picking through it very effectively. Now that you stopped, you can actually hit. <laughs> Tactical engine loss. Yeah, I think maybe the Ragnarok should probably um should probably switch it back to AP frag for these big beefy armored things that don't spam era cuz like the the um the Sabo sniper rifle isn't really doing much good for me here. Like I'm tearing these things apart, but I'm not really killing him fast enough to matter. And I don't have my railgun, so like whatever. Well, if you can get me down with your crams in time, you will probably win once I switch sides. That's if I don't... I hope your your butt armor is beefy. You're about to be shooting your butt. You are desperately trying to get crams out. You're missing one. That one's missing barrels. And these three, which are fully fine... Morty uh, are uh, unable to target. So this is the Ragnarok's like last chance here to win. So, my man, if you're gonna kill it, you best kill it now, because this is your one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. But yeah, I don't think we have any rail charge at all. Like this gun here, which is a rail gun, is not even firing, nor is this one. If I actually had any engine power, this would probably be over and the Ragnarok would win. But we lost engine power. Completely. Yeah, even the backup turbines are dead. That is unforch. Unfortunate for me. The time limit is quickly approaching. We do have about 4 minutes and 15 seconds left. So if you don't kill it by then, then this will be a DQ. This is a very slow burn fight. Hate to see it for both sides. Let's see, are you even generating power? Like barely. You're losing power by the second. Yikes. Yeah, the big cram boat does look quite cool. It does look like a real ship compared to mine, which doesn't look real at all. Quite like it. Real, um, it's like, uh, World War One, World War Two style right? I don't know my ancient, my old style ships very well. You're still launching missiles and your guns are back on target. This is probably a loss for the Ragnarok. Once these guns start hitting, we'll probably quickly approach 55. Rule of cool is the only rule that matters. You are so right, my man. You are so right. Fired by late one British. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks right. Oh, okay, yep. Those crams are back online, and all the guns that had a chance of killing you are about to get destroyed. I think we might even lose our Citadel, honestly. It's kind of falling apart. We might get chopped in half. That would be really funny if we get chopped in half. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yep, you just hit, like, the only gun that actually matters left in the fight. Whoops. It's probably game over. In your favor. But, who knows, I could survive three more minutes and 15 seconds. 
rip and tear until it is done. Yeah. Hmm. And trust me, people, I, I feel no, no bad feelings about watching my ship get blown the hell up. In fact, I'm enjoying it because I am taking notes of what things in my design are weak so the next one, or the next ship can be better. Because, like, I can't make the Ragnarok better without fundamentally changing the design of, like, how Robaz did it. So, like, this is how it stands. Like, this is what's going to happen to it, you know? It's going to get blown off. Its deck armor is the weak part. It's going to lose there. Etc, etc. But trust me, I'm taking these notes. I'm making my list and checking it twice. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Yeah, it seems like we're down basically everything. We have no firepower, we have no energy, no nothing. It seems you may win after all if you can burn through this last 10%. I think all your crams are all oh god, oh lag. That's a gun falling off. That's two guns falling off. Okay, that is game over. <laughs> just like that. Well, okay. I, I think you just cut two of my guns out from the bottom and then just instantly despawned the ship. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. It's not sinking, it got its guns cut off and then it died. Wow. Okay. So let's see, this is a side that was getting shot the most. And you use wedge armor, which is actually good against the Ragnarok because it relies on kinetics to deal most of its damage. Yeah, the main flaw is top and bottom armor in the Ragnarok because um, I basically followed Robez's original designs in terms of like how, how to do the guns and how to do all that crap. And he didn't leave like any deck armor or any underside armor. So, like, I, I really couldn't, like, build around that, because if I made the Ragnarok any taller, it would breach the original design, and it would be slower, like, significantly slower and heavier and more cost. But, yeah. But, yeah, this thing survived. It, uh, it seems to win mostly on redundancy and size, because the Ragnarok couldn't find somewhere to shoot to actually win. It shot one turret, but it couldn't shoot the rest of the turrets because there were so many and they were so far apart. Well, yeah, the original didn't have any armor, but like I still... He, he had armor, but it was 12 meters of space armor. So that's why I have 12 meters of solid armor. It's because it's just an upgrade. Is there any space to move the AI up? I mean, maybe, but like I'm not going to. As I said, I'm not redoing the design. The, the Ragnarok is done. It's going to stay done, except for like maintenance updates. And that's about it. Anyway, let's give this guy a score. He survived with, he killed the Ragnarok, so that's 100 points. He survived with, yeah, I'll give him 85. 85%, so that's 185. And he has 2 minutes and 35 seconds left. So let me do that quick math. 35 over 60. So he got 2 minutes, so, so he got 25.8 points on time. 25.8. Point eight plus 85. Five plus a hundred and your total points driver would be two hundred and ten point eight points out of three hundred putting you obviously in second place with flap still reigning at 230 so driver congratulations you survived and you're the second and thus in second place Alright, let's let this load. And here it is, the Orion by Solar Sausage. Uh, sausage. I believe this is a big cram spammer. And there's literally not much else to it. Big cram spam, let her rip. First volley, let's see. Notoriously the worst volley for cram boats. My Sea Wiz did not see it fast enough and deleted them. Are these missiles? 
Let's see. Oh, it has missile swarms. Good to know. These appear to be large missiles. And it instantly drained my lambs. Just sad. But it seems like only about three or four actually got through. Inexorable. That's a pretty cool name. I like it. Ooh, shield spam. Love to see it. I think I have defeat not defuse, whatever the, the shield deleters are called. I think I have some, but I don't have very much of them. Uh, what am I aiming at here? I'm aiming at I'm aiming at fuck all. <laughs> Hate the, the AI. Now I think I'm aiming at a turret. Okay. Yeah, that's a cram turret we're hitting. So let's see. I believe we're mainly getting hit by missiles here. I could be wrong. Let's see if there is a cram anywhere. That looks like missile damage, I think. Yeah, it looks like missile damage. Nothing under the belt line. Ooh, those are cramps. Oof. So it seems this thing is trying to drain the lambs with missiles and then have the cramps hit. Which it seems to have done pretty well because all the lambs is now unable to take these missiles down. God, I hate missile spam. It makes my PC run so bad. Please don't do it if you're nice. It seems these missiles are probably reinforced, which makes them harder to hit with Sea Wiz. Which is bad for me. Okay, let's go back over here. See what's happening. More crams coming out, yada yada. I think we hit one of the crams with some, some APHE, which is nice. Okay, yes, we have we have opened up a cram gun. So I think that cram gun is basically offline. Yeah, you can see it's missing a lot of gauge. And this one is getting offline, slowly but surely. We just gotta pick it apart. Neat strategy hurts my PC. Yeah, I, I really don't like missile spam. I don't like it because I don't think it's that great, all things considered, and I really don't like how it runs. I, I think missile spam is just like, it's just kind of mean in tournaments. Like you're just kind of making everyone's experience a little, a little annoying. But yeah, what are those Sabos? It's what Sabo chainsaws will do to you. <laughs> yeah, that thing's gone. I think this one's gonna get gone soon. I think we're gonna open it up. Yeah, I already see it open. If I could just hit it with APHE, then I'll be able to, oh, that one's dead, okay. So I think we have two of the cram guns basically down. So we have really one and then missiles to worry about if we want to win this fight. Let's see if I actually have Sea Wiz still online. I don't think my lambs is very online right now. No, I would assume, oh God, Giga Barrel. <laughs> I love decorations. Okay, I think my lambs is pretty weak right now. It probably got drained pretty hard by this missiles and then just hit a bunch of times. And my Sea Wiz is just completely ignoring the missiles, which is very poggers. Very poggers indeed. I don't think these missiles are hitting anything significant. I think they're just dumb guided radars. So they're not hitting where they need to, which is to say the Citadel most of the time, or the guns. They're just kind of hitting superstructure and ripping it apart, which there's nothing there to really kill. My lambs is still online, which is nice. But yeah, these missiles are doing numbers to me. They are the main concern here. This appears to be reinforced body spam, which is like the way to go, if I had to guess. The fact that I can't really kill these that quickly. Let's see what's happening over here. I am down a percent, but some of this thing's main weapon systems are down, so keep that in mind. Like, these two crams are basically done. Although I'm still firing into this cent central cram, which is bad. I shouldn't be doing that. Am I missing guns? It doesn't look like all my guns are firing. No, they appear to be firing. Do you have energy? 
Yes, but you're quickly running out. I think I need to add more energy generation to this thing. I think that's one of its weaknesses. Because it runs out of energy too fast. We are down 4%. But I have confidence. If we can survive this missile spam, that will live. We just got to find them and actually blow them up. I don't see... I don't see our APH... Okay, there it is. So we are still firing the main rail guns. We're just not really hitting anything significant with it. Which is bad for me, because I need to be hitting here where these big stupid missiles are. You're remaking all these skyships. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Come on, just... Hit something that matters, please, Ragnarok. Make yourself useful. I don't want to lose every single match. That would be lame for me. I want to actually kill somebody. Your main guns are still up, my brother. Your superstructure is not there, but your guns are still there. Ads? Oh, no. The thing I can't fix. Although, why are you getting ads if you're a subscriber? I'll have to go into my settings later and make sure that's not a thing. Because subscribers shouldn't be getting ads, like, at all. Oof. Yeah, huge missiles hurt. Yeah, cruiser, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that later. That shouldn't be a thing. You shouldn't be able to get ads if you're subbed. Oh, that's one gun gone. Okay, the Ragnarok's fucked. <laughs> Game over. We just lost the main gun. That's how Twitch is now? Dude, really? That's stupid. Alright, welcome to one of my design flaws, which is the bottom armor is really weak, so we just get guns cut off. That hurts. Okay, well, this fight is basically over because of that. Sucks to see, but alas, uh, I knew about that fault coming into this. I knew somebody would exploit it, and I knew I would eventually get my turrets cut off. Sad, sad, sad. Maybe we'll kill a different one. I don't think we're killing this guy. Man, missile spam is just annoying. What are these guided by? Hold on. Pausing game. Man, if only I'd made flares. <laughs> I could could have made some big fuck off flares. That would have stopped some of this. But I didn't because I ran out of resources to make big fuck off flares. Let's see, do we even have a shot of like doing any damage? There's no crams, it's really just missiles that are killing me now. The crams are basically negated. All things considered. Yeah, decoys save lives. I, I definitely should have included that, but alas, I didn't, and so I'm not going to retroactively include them. Because it's too late now. We still have a shot if we can kill these missiles, but it's not a very good shot. At the very least, I can make him score less, which will make me feel a little better. <laughs> make me feel like my design isn't that dog shit. Yeah. Definitely should have included decoys, but I ran out. Ran out for sure. How is it still floating? That is a great question. I do not know the answer. Does it have up props? Hmm, I don't see up props. Could just be buoyant or using uh, rudders. Most likely. Man. Maybe alloy, maybe rudders. I can't tell if this is. I think this is alloy. It looks to be alloy spam. <laughs> What's up, prop? <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna lose, but I'm, I'm at least gonna chunk this guy down to speed. 
before I go down. Maybe I'll win by um by time limit if I don't get other turrets cut off. That would suck. You are die. Flappy, why are you die? Are you okay? Do I need to change settings in Streamlabs? Are you fine, my mans? Please don't perish. God, I'm lagging. Okay, I don't think we're gonna survive to 10 minutes. But, I can dream. We don't have any sea less, and I don't think we're generating power for our railguns. Oh, we are, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised that this thing, um... Surprised that the missiles are doing as well. As well as they are. Kinda upset that, like... We're, we're missing all the juicy components, that is to say, the missiles. <laughs> that dad joke should be a war crime. Hey, blame him. I just I just repeated what he said. Okay, I think we got some of the missiles. At least we're going down with the fight, boys. A tough fight, but a fight nonetheless. I think we're sinking, though. I think we're actively sinking. Appear so. Not really, because we have up props. Uh, I need a decoy so bad, man. Sag. Oh, these are missing. They're missing. Okay, the dream is not dead yet. We're actually out of its engage range. We're coming back. We might run the clock down. Okay. Okay. Ragnarok, I believe. I don't know how many of your guns are left alive. I think, like maybe one and a half of them combined okay i believe if we can stay out of its engage range for three minutes three minutes ai please please save me just three minutes of staying out of its engage range and maybe just maybe we can win this one and staying above 70 uh 55 percent that would be nice the Blackbird way, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I think we're back in this engage range. Whoops! Yeah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts to watch. Okay, never mind. The AI has failed me. We're also not tracking these targets very well. Which is upsetting. Seems like the Sea Wiz is just being wasteful. Long range itself is armor. That is so true, Cruiser. That is, that is why I want to fight at long range, but everyone's like, oh, you gotta fight at 2,000. I'm just kind of sad that we're not aiming for the front of this thing, because there's all these crams are dead, but it hasn't. Does APS lose penetration over distance? Uh, if you lose speed, then yes, because APS pen is tied to um kinet uh kinetic speed and energy so if you lose energy then actually use pen it, it depends how much you lose over distance so rail guns it shouldn't matter if you're going fast enough i just i don't think we're going to do enough damage in enough time to actually kill this thing so let's see if we can run the clock down but i i don't i think these missiles are going to just slowly chunk me if we lose another gun it's game over So I need to just hope that my guns don't blow up for two minutes. Two minutes. Come on. Just survive. We don't really have any firepower left. Oof. Hurts to watch. Just, just one minute and like 45 seconds is all we need for, for, for a technical dub. Dub by technicality, my favorite kind of dubs. They are W's just the same, my boys. Come on. Come on, just survive. Ooh, so many missiles, we don't have defenses left. Ooh, please don't lose a gun. Okay, okay, we're holding on. We got 13% left in the tank. Oof. 
Oof. Minute 30. Just a minute 30. We have just just under 13%. She's closing in. She's running me down. I don't think I have any guns left that matter. I cannot hurt you in a way that matters, but I sure can outlast you if time permits. Oh my god. We we just never hit here, which is such an issue. It's what happens when you when you call uh, when you do cluster aiming. Okay. Just twelve percent. If I can survive for one minute. One minute. Oh god. This is tense, that cram missed, that's so nice. These missiles are going everywhere. Oof. Okay, 11%, 11%. Just, just 50 seconds, 50 seconds. We can just survive. Come on. Oh, we're getting close. It's like, okay, it's like more like 6% left over. Come on, 45 seconds. Let's hope that it doesn't fire off another salvo. If it doesn't fire off another salvo in, in like however long, then we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh God. My, my finger is on the F11 button. On the button. I have 5.8% of health left. If I can survive this next salvo, then I think I, I've clinched it by time. Oh my god. The missiles are coming in. This is where it matters. If this brings me under 55, it's over. But if it doesn't, I think we're good. That cram miss. Okay. Okay, 60%. Just 15? It is a technicality, yes, but that, that's my favorite kinds of wins are technicalities. Th they're wins all the same. 12, 11, 10, 9, come on game speed, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, I think I'm fine, 1, ding, 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 Solar Sausage, you are disqualified, you have overstayed the time limit, and the Ragnarok survives by technicality. GG. Uh, my, my butt was clenched. I think if I had better under under armor, under armor, but um, um, I would have survived this with flying colors and maybe even won by actually, but instead I win by technicality. This thing just has a lot of unused space that is mostly missiles. And from the depths crashed again. Okay, whatever from the depths. Okay. I'm going to close from the depths before it blows up my stream labs. But whatever. Um, yeah, save by the bell and then save by from the depths crashing. So whatever. 